<laughs> and action. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, do you just want to introduce yourself? What's your name, your major, and your class? Certainly. Yeah. Uh, my name is Justin Mitchell. I am a uh, technically a junior here at Ursinus College. I'm a transfer student. This is actually my uh, third semester on campus. Uh, I transferred from Bucks County Community College, uh, where I got my uh, associate's degree in history. I am now pursuing the same degree uh, as my major here at Ursinus with a minor in museum studies, uh, class of 2022. Favorite museum would be uh, National Museum of the U.S. Air Force out in Dayton, Ohio. Um, so it, it pairs my uh, passion for history with the, the passion for aviation. Uh, prior to me deciding I wanted to do museum uh, studies, I actually wanted to be a, uh, a pilot. So I, I went down the route of uh, going into aviation, excuse me, and um, again, decided that that wasn't for me. So I decided uh, teaching about av aviation, and then here we are. So uh, that being said, National Museum of the U.S. Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, uh, followed closely by the Kennedy Space Center down in Florida. So museum studies is a uh, it's really kind of caught my attention because I'm interested in sharing knowledge about history specifically. Um, and I considered doing the educational route, then decided that uh, education was not necessarily for me. I wasn't really cut out for that. Uh, so I thought the next step would be to be a museum, uh, to work in the museum, uh, specifically like uh, history museums, uh, aviation museums, uh, stuff like that. And so when I heard about the museum studies, program here at Ursinus. Uh, that's, that really caught my attention. Hadn't really heard about it. And uh, so that's when I transferred uh, last, last spring. And I've uh, been taking classes since then. And yeah, I've, I've really found out that it's a pretty big passion of mine. I don't know if there was really like an, a single epiphany moment. It just, it just kind of felt natural. Like everything we we're learning about, just, it just made sense. Um, talking about how museums function, I was very, very fascinated by that. And so um, I, can't, I can't really pinpoint a specific moment. But the, the first semester I took uh, museum studies classes, definitely just, it just felt right, felt natural. And that's how I felt, um, that's how I knew that um, I was making the right decision career-wise and uh, education-wise. I think at this point with museum studies, any experience is positive experience. Um, so I'm not, I don't really see it as like different tiers. I think everything that I'm, I'm seeing, learning, and doing here with the art museum is going to be applicable to some degree with the, uh, the history or scientific museums, uh, wherever I end up going. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, it, it's, it's, it's been kind of a, it's, it's stretched me and from the sense that I don't know a whole lot about art and the art and the art world um, so learning about art and artists and the way that they think uh, has has definitely stretched me as a person I think that that is actually very very helpful going into this field uh, just to be able to view exhibits from different viewpoints to use one word I'd say very very rewarding <laughs> um, I didn't really know what to expect going into this week uh, we had had some zoom calls with uh, Ms. Collis uh, before, so we had opened up that discussion, but in terms of just the physicality of the space and just the way that it uh, kind of evolved throughout this week has been really, really rewarding. It makes it to where those, those efforts that we've been putting into uh, the project since, really since October um, as a class, made it to where that was really, really starting to pay off. And so seeing it come into the physical space, uh, yeah, <laughs> rewarding. <laughs> Frankly, I mean, I, I didn't, I don't really know any time, any, uh, I don't have any curatorial experience outside of COVID. Um, so I kind of see this as just normal, if you will. Um, of course, with, with our conversations with Dr. Bark and Dr. Tierney um, and, with, and with you yourself, we, we found out that well, we've, we've learned that this is not normal <laughs> and that the, the normal process is, is um, obviously more in person, more physical and all that. Um, so. I mean, I can't really speak on the, the differences because I don't, I don't know the differences uh, firsthand, but I can see where uh, communication and uh, clarity is very, very, very important <laughs> during, this, during this time of uh, online communication. Collaboration, uh, as, we know with, uh, as we all know as students with uh, group projects, can be a bit, of a, a bit of a struggle sometimes, but I really feel like the group that we've had has been uh, good. We've, we've all had different uh, nuances to bring to the team and it's been 
it's been very, very helpful. And again, I think that's been a point of growth for me uh, to um, just kind of surrender parts of the parts of the project uh, to other people as well. I tend to be a bit of a perfe uh, perfectionist, excuse me, where I kind of have, I tend to be like um, more hands-on. So just kind of learning to let go and uh, work well with each other. Um, that's, that's been, I think, probably the toughest part. But by and large, it's been very, very helpful. And um, especially during um, this tough time with COVID and all that, um, everything virtual means that you have to be even better at communicating. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it, it's been fantastic having a team. It's been fantastic working together. And yeah, <laughs> overwhelmingly positive. So I'm working on a documentation uh, program. So it's, um, it's pretty much following the backstory of the Athabasca region, the Athabasca Oil Company, and um, specifically why uh, Shannon Corliss wanted to actually go into uh, this exhibit, create this exhibit for us to enjoy, and um, to a certain extent, why it matters to us. And in the process, I'm also gonna do some kind of behind the scenes on the uh, exhibit itself. So the installation process, um, sound design if if, uh, if permitted but primarily the physical installation process um, yeah so just a documentation process behind the scenes and all that good stuff okay thanks Justin thank you